how to swap tokens in MetaMask. So if you do have your MetaMask downloaded, firstly, we can set up networks that we might want to use. If you use cheaper networks to trade coins, you'll pay less in gas fees. And so you might get a better swap. So we can do that by going to the settings in the top right and then going to networks here and then adding in these networks. So you should see all of the main networks on the left hand side that you can add. If you can't see them, come to add networks and then you can manually add them here. For example, Polygon is a lot cheaper. And so I can add that in. So I'll click that and it says, do you want to add this? I can click approve. And once you've added that network or any of the others up in the top left, you should see a list of them. And so you can choose these networks to actually swap tokens and you won't be paying high gas fees on the Ethereum mainnet. So I'll click BNB chain and now I'm in the BNB chain and I can swap tokens. So what I'm going to do is get some BNB coin into my wallet. When you use MetaMask swap, you need to pay gas and the gas coin is different depending on which network that you're on. So for example, Ethereum, Arbitrum, Optimism, Base, they all use ETH as gas. So you need to get ETH into your wallet on those chains. For BNB chain, it's BNB coin. For Avalanche, it's ABAX. Uh, so I'm going to go to BNB right here. So I need some BNB coin. Your MetaMask wallet address is exactly the same across all of these chains. It just matters if you're receiving coins, which network that you actually want to use and swap on. So I'm going to copy my address right here, go over to my Binance and then just withdraw some BNB coin. I'm going to select the network here and I'm going to select BNB Smart Chain because that is the chain that I want to swap on. So I'll click that and click yes, I'm sure. And then I can just withdraw those BNB coins into my BNB chain MetaMask account. Now that I've got the gas coin in my wallet, I can use that to pay for my swaps, but I can also use the value of this to swap into any other token. If you want a deposit bonus on Binance as well, uh, I'll leave that down below and the other exchanges that I use. But from here, we can use this value we've got to go and swap. So press swap. And then it says, what do you want to swap? You don't have to use the gas coin, uh, but you can do if you want. You can use any two tokens. I'll choose the gas coin here and then choose an amount that I want to swap. And then from here, press select token. Now, this is a list of popular tokens on the network that you're using. And so if you find the asset that you want to swap here, that's great. If you can't, then you can search via the name. So I can search USDT and it's going to come up with the token that it thinks that I want. However, you can make 100% sure of this by going and pasting the token address of the token that you want to swap. So down here it says, if you can't find the token, go to the blockchain explorer, which is on BNB chain is BSC scan. So what I'm going to do is go over here and I'm going to look for all of the popular tokens on this chain. And so because they're popular and large, it means I have a, a pretty good confidence that they're not scams or anything like that. So as an example, I'm going to go to USDC and it says this has a lot of holders and it has a big supply. So I'm pretty sure this is the real token. So I'm going to actually copy and paste the token address, which is this right here, copy, and then go over and paste this address in the search field. And it says the token address that you've pasted in is this coin, which is USDC, which is the one that I would want. So you can be doubly sure with that. For me, I'm just going to choose USDT and press swap. And now what it does is actually go out to the market and it sees all of the exchange aggregators and exchanges out there. And it's going to get you the best quote from all of those at the current time. So for me, it says this is the best quote. And I'm going to be paying around 29 cents in gas, but I could pay up to 35 cents. Uh, for right here as well, they include a MetaMask fee for doing this of 0.875%. So it's quite expensive, right? You're paying like seven eighths of a percent to, to, uh, you know, to do this fee on top of all of the other fees that you're paying on the other exchanges that MetaMask are actually using. So if you view, view all these quotes, you can see these, it's not just the USDC, but it's also the network fee because they may split up your trade and go through different exchanges to get you the best result. In any case, this is the best result that it's found. So I can press select there and then uh, I can actually go through with the swap. So let's press swap right here and uh, we can see what's happening. We just have to wait for the uh, MetaMask swap to actually go through. It says the USDC will also be added to my account um, because I haven't got that token added to my account yet. So it will list it there for me so I can actually see the balance. Transaction complete, so that was very easy. I'll press close. And there you can see I've actually got the USDT in my wallet now. 
Um, now, the amount is more than I swapped because I had some in my wallet previously, but I hadn't added it into the account. So MetaMask does that for you, so you don't have to add it manually. Using MetaMask Swap is extremely simple and convenient, but there's no need to pay the extra that MetaMask is charging you. I would use something like One Inch, which is the exchange aggregator that MetaMask is going to use anyway, and not pay the extra seven eighths of a percent to use a MetaMask swap. Connect your wallet up in the top right. You can see the amount that you can trade, and it's going to give you the swap without any extra fees on top. So you can compare the quotes at least. I'll leave the One Inch Exchange tutorial down in the description as well. I'm James, it's Money ZG. Cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.